Hey guys, very good morning. My name is Mithil Singh and today I am going to talk about FSM rule. What it is, how does it work, what is the importance and how many types of rules are there. We'll see in detail. FSM rules in Active Directory play a major role and it help to prevent the conflict. There are five types of rules which is divided into two part. One is forest wide rules and other one is domain wide rules. Under the forest wide rules there are two types of rules schema master and domain naming master and in the domain wide rules there are three rid master pdc emulator and infrastructure master so let's talk about the forest wide rule first schema master which is unique inside the complete forest so take an example you have the forest structure and this is your forest and there are three domain 1 2 and 3 the first domain work as a parent domain this is cloudxindia.local and other two work as a child domain so as i said forest wide rules the schema master and domain naming master so since this is your parent domain and this is your forest domain as well so these two roles will be inside this parent domain any of the domain controller hold this role take an example this is your schema master so what does it do schema master basically maintain the class and attribute and if you want to update the class or attribute of the inside the complete forest so you have to upgrade or do this activity from the domain uh, parent domain so you have to make this changes from this particular domain controller and once you done it will replicate to all the dc inside the this particular domain and also replicate the same changes to other domain inside this particular forest second one is domain naming master so what does it do domain naming master basically keep records of all existing domain so again go back to this slide so there are three domain one is your parent second two childs so what does it do any domain controller can have this role inside the parent domain so you cannot distribute these rules on two domain controller at a time so any single dc can have this role okay in the complete this forest domain So take an example this is your domain naming master so what does it do so it help to maintain the record of all domain inside the forest plus when you are going to add a new domain take an example finance.cloudxindia.local you are going to add a new domain so it also keep help to add the new domain and if you are going to demote any domain take an example health.cloudxindia.local so it also help to remove that domain and if this uh, domain naming master is not available you will see some issues while you are going to demote this domain from your forest so next one is domain wide roles so domain wide roles guys always remember these three roles will have into this all domain so there are how many domains are there if you see this is your forest okay and there are three domain one parent domain and other two is child domain so the domain wide rules all these three rules all the domain have all these three rules okay so under the parent domain rid pdc infrastructure will be there and inside the health and telecom also these role will be there but what it is functions how does it work we'll see So let's talk about the RID master first. So RID master basically help to allocate RID pool to all domain controller. What is RID pool and how does it uh, work? We'll see. So next one is all DC reach out to RID master for RID pool when it exhaust or finish. RID is used during object creation and generate unique ID to each object. So RID is basically relative identification. Okay. 
so when you are going to create any object inside the domain so active directory or domain controller assign a unique value or unique id to your object okay so active directory will identify those object with the help of that particular id it's like our identity card if you are working in any organization so they provide you employee id okay so the employee id is unique for all employees inside the organization similarly when you are creating any object inside the domain so it also create a unique id to that particular object okay so let's talk about one by one so first allocating rid pool to all dc so there will be one domain controller which holding this rid master rule take an example this is your rid master rule so there is no limitation or boundary you can keep all five rules in a one domain controller inside the forest but it is always advisable to distribute role accordingly so take an example this is my rid master so what does it do rid master since you can create the users from any of the domain controller here or any of this six domain controller so once you are going to create the domain controller this domain controller take an example you are creating from here so this domain controller will view when you create the users so this domain controller will assign a unique id to this so how this domain controller will will get the unique identity identity and from where it will assign the identity so single this rid master what does it do it it allocate a pool of 500 to this particular domain controller and it distribute this pools to each domain controller inside this particular domain okay so this is a single master operation so doing this basically it help to prevent the conflict Take an example if each domain controller generate their own rid so it create the conflict okay because there is no one who is maintaining the pools of it so that is the reason only one domain controller inside your domain will play this role okay so once rid pool exhaust so all the domain controller will reach out to this particular rid master again and in case this rid master is not available so this you cannot create object from here if the rid pool is exhausted okay so always remember if there are two sites or you have designed uh, like uh, some firewall rules here so make sure all the domain controller are communicating to the rid master to get the pool otherwise there will be a problem to create the user object to join any systems into the domain to create group right so there are so many problems he will face so this is the rid master so and rid master is domain wide roles it means each domain can have this rid master roles so under this domain there will be one domain controller which have this role and under this there will be this domain controller will have this role so they have their own value okay so it doesn't mean whatever the rid pool number here that is the similar here no they have their own value and this rid pool is completely different okay so the value is always different unique inside the all domain okay so next is rid master is also responsible for moving object from one domain to another take an example if you move object from here from the parent domain or from the child domain from here to this domain so once you move it change the rid rid identification of that object as well so next one is pdc emulator so this is quite critical and important job or rules inside your active directory so let's go back to the slide screen again so all the domain will have this role take an example you also make this domain as a domain controller as a pdc emulator okay so you hold this role here so what does it do basically the first task of this pdc emulator is the time synchronization so time synchronization how will you uh, synchronize the time so there will be a global watch take an example you are synchronizing time directly from the microsoft 
or maybe there is a network device inside your organization you are synchronizing time from there as well so this particular domain controller will connect to that global watch and synchronize the time and work as a ntp server as well okay so there is few entry inside the registry which you have to make so once you're done with this so all domain controller inside this particular domain will replicate the time or synchronize the time from this particular domain controller okay in the same way under this child domain controller you will have one pdc take an example this is your pdc master here or pdc emulator and this is inside the telecom so so under the health.com health.cloudx india or telecom this will work as a pdc master and synchronize the time so what does it do it will connect to this replicate the information from here okay and replicate the information from here and it will synchronize the time from here and maybe this will connect to any of the parent domain controller for the time synchronization so they consider it as a synchronization master right uh, the child domain control will connect to any of the domain controller so it will synchronize and under this there are multiple clients okay so all the clients will synchronize to their own like authenticated domain controller whosoever is uh, domain controller authenticating them they they will synchronize the time from there so this is how the time synchronization work okay inside your domain and if there is any mistake take an example this is your pdc okay pdc emulator rules and uh, you move this role from here to there and you did not make it as a ntp server you didn't uh, make any changes into the registry then all the domain controller and all the system inside your domain will have problem they will have the time synchronization issue because all the domain controller will work as a pick the information from local uh, cmos okay and it will have the problems so make sure whenever you are moving pdc master from here to there you have to make sure that you are changing the registry value as well so next one is password update whenever there is any update related to the password take an example user is logged in here and connected with this particular domain controller so when user make any changes so what happen and this is your pdc so it should update the password will update from here okay this domain controller will have to update the password here but this is very frequent right you cannot uh, imagine how fast it will work so quickly your password will be updated and you will get the changes so next one is group policy update so remember always remember you cannot maintain the group policy until unless your pdc available take an example so all the group policy jobs are managed by here if you want to create any group policy so take an example you are as an administrator you have connected this particular domain controller and you want to make uh, you want to create a group policy so once you connect the gpmc dot uh, msc open the console so it will connect to this particular em pdc emulator master and then show the complete uh, list of our group policy you can create modify or update the group policy from there then if this pdc emulator is not available then group policy console will open but you will not see any object so it will give the error to you so that is one of very critical and important job in your organization or active directory account lockout so if there is any lockout so that is also handled by your pdc emulator bad password or authentication failure take an example so you this user hit multiple wrong password invalid password and connected with this so the you will see some error right so either username or password is incorrect basically that message is represented from this particular pdc master to your system so next one is infrastructure master role so infrastructure master roles basically help to cross domain object reference take an example there is a users inside the health uh, health.cloudxindia.com and there is a group inside the telecom.cloudxindia.com and you want to join this group uh, 
uh, membership from the hell.india.com to the telecom group right so it will help to cross reference that object from one domain to other domain it does not work if gc is on the same domain controller take an example this is your infrastructure master role and the global catalog server is also there so it will not work so make sure if you are placing it so make sure that there will not be global catalog and if there is a global catalog then global catalog will already handle all these things so there is no need of infrastructure master you can place it but it will not work there infrastructure master rule does not work if recycle bin is enabled always remember if you have enabled the recycle bin then it also will not work so guys that's all in today's session and please share subscribe and like my video and bye for today thanks